In this week's Hazel Park Report, there is a trainer that has been on top of the heat for the longest period of time. We'd like you to meet him now. His name, Gordon Norris. Welcome to Fowlerville and the modest but efficient 20-acre farm of one of the most successful trainers the state of Michigan has ever seen. Every morning at the crack of dawn, Gordon can be found behind the desk planning his strategy while his wife Diane joins in with the coffee, the support, and the conversation. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's my partner. Well, she's my owner. She's my biggest owner right now. <laughs> she's my partner for sure. Speedway Jackie, that's the one horse that got me on my way. He was a nice horse. I got him and started winning the invites, and and uh, through him we got enough money to put a down payment on this farm and. Uh, and through him we got a lot more horses to train so he's probably the favorite horse because he got me rolling <laughs> we've had a lot of nice horses I, well, one of them was covert action we sold him for a hundred thousand he went on to make a million and everybody says well why aren't you sorry you sold him i says no well his horse is named cr royal flush and he set a world record at north Hill last winter in february actually the farm is a beehive of activity, but even so, how is it that Gordon Norris has been so successful for so many years? I think I heard something once that John Kennedy said you have to surround yourself with smart people. I try to surround myself with smart horsemen, and it seems to work. Gordon Norris now finds a lifestyle that suits both he and his wife, and seems to have the best of all worlds. Me and Diane said if we ever got our kids out of school, we were going to go to Florida. I do. I enjoy everything I do now. I do what I want to do. So. Do you like the idea of uh, Florida in the, so in the winter time? Oh, and... very much so. We love Florida. I like Florida very well. I used to be a groom. I used to take care of the horses and that. I don't do that anymore. I used to be the bookkeeper and I don't do that anymore. So I just kind of an owner. Just I clean up the farm and work around here, do feeding sometimes and that. Gordon has made his niche at the paramutual tracks like Hazel Park and Pompano in Florida. But what about his thoughts on the Michigan Fair Circuit? I think it's really, really good. I, it's getting better and I think it's... We don't have many this year. I think we've been racing about four out there, but next year we have like 10 or 12 of them to break. That's going to be Michigan brand, so we'll be pretty active next year. Marty, I don't know. I've had so much luck. I feel so fortunate that I've done have done so well that I, I, I just, it'd be hard for me to pick out just one thing that's that's really, you know, the highlight or, or like one race or something. So. Gordon and Diane Norris have certainly invested dearly in this sport and are worthy of all the rewards that they have received. 